Um, hey guys, uh, what's up gamers? <laughs> uh, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 2. Now, in the last episode, we made our way into the sewers, and we ran from this giant crocodile thing, and we freaking blew it up, and it was freaking awesome. Gosh darn, I can't open that door. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, so we, um, you know, did that. Uh, what's also nice is we finally have started our final little bit of the game. We only have like an hour or so left, so maybe two or three videos until this whole series is put to rest. Which I'm sure is much needed for you guys. Because <laughs> um, I need to finish some of these. But... Yeah, and we played as um, Ada, who is kind of bad. No comment. Um, gosh darn it, you stupid. Okay, I keep pulling this up and thinking it's the shotgun and then seeing 24 in, like, 24 in the mag and 63 in reserve. And I'm like, there is just no way that this is that much. Like, <laughs> And then obviously, you know. I realize it's not indeed my shotgun, it is this thing, because I got, like, a stock for this thing, which makes it a burst, which is kind of awesome in this game, believe it or not. Like, yeah, the pistol's not very good, but you can, you know, you expect that, because the pistol, except for Resident Evil, like, the, these, like, first three Resident Evil games, which I, I guess all the Resident Evil games are all kind of grouped up in like different chunks, I'd say. Like, there's the old remakes, well, there's the old ones. So what I call the old OG ones, or like, because I feel like each of them have like different styles and stuff. I hear a zombie, what the frick was that? He's in like, he had, bro, that guy, that zombie sounded like he just had some Taco Bell. Whew. Um, I'm just kind of looking. Uh, the episodes are probably going to start start getting like a little bit longer okay i i can't believe i didn't see that the first time uh but yeah like i said so these episodes are probably going to start getting like a little bit longer because you know we're getting the longer chunks of the game we're going to have a full episode just dedicated to exploring raccoon city police station um because so there's a way back there believe it or not and there's stuff that we still have not gotten so i you know, don't see any good reason to not, you know, explore a bit more and, you know, try doing things there. Um, I missed something, you know, back here, so let's go get there. Uh, I hear zombies, which is kind of scary, but I mean, bro, that's not as scary as the tyrant chasing you while there's liquors, you know. Raccoon City gets brutal, like... The city, like, the police station gets brutal <laughs> and some stuff like that, like, you know, um, oh, I need a pump. Of, of course I do, gosh, a T-bar handle slot. I doubt it that we're gonna, you know, mess with that a bunch, but, you know, probably we are going to mess with that enough. Um, I thought, so... We're going to beat Leon's story, and then we're going to beat Claire's story. And then, I was kind of wondering if we wanted to do the second story for each of these characters. Because I know the second story makes it so, like, you can, um, like, get the true endings for each story. Even though the story that we're playing right now, Leon's story, is the true Resident Evil timeline. Uh like story and so claire's second story is going to be tied in with this which is going to be a good thing i can't believe i missed that you dirty rotten zombie i can't believe i'm missing these shots it's kind of sad honestly i thought i got good get up you know i thought at least you know i got a little oof why are there army guys down here USS video digital tape cassette. Huh. Oof. Well, I mean, clearly there's. Wait a minute. Where are we? Wait a second. Oh, 
Well, instead of going up, I clicked the trigger, and so I thought we were at the police station. I was like, wait a minute, we're not that f what what? <laughs> uh, you know, that's- we're not at the police station. I need a key. Oh my gosh. We're back to doing this. Oh no. So basically, we have to get all these dumb chess pieces, and we have to move them around like we're like it's freaking Tetris. Gosh darn it, I did not miss this. Is this door actually open? Man, none of these doors are open. So yeah, we're back to this freaking So you just have to run around all like over this place to find these dumb chess pieces. You know, not my favorite puzzle ever. Well, I got a knife. Just oh, I have two grenades. That's nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna want two grenades. Do I already already have a knife? I know that the knife can actually be pretty powerful. You know, when you're actually using it, unlike I do when I just try to stab the zombie. When I just try to shoot the zombies, and hope for the best. You know. What's down here? Oh 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 okay. Literally. <laughs> um, no, but I was thinking, like, we could do that, you know, if you guys, like, actually gave a crap. Could I combine? I can combine this with something. Ooh. That would make this, like, ultra powerful. I'm just saying that thing is going to be, like, way stronger than anything else in the universe. Oh, is this where the frog things are? Uh, yuck. I think it is. I'm so happy. Gosh darn it. You see that thing? Oh, yep, I thought so. Oh, oh, frick, he grabbed me. I didn't expect that to happen. Ooh. Yeah, if you let these things, like, bite you or whatever, you know... Ooh, I need to shoot that. Shoot that. Oof. I see your little eye. You know, I hear zombies behind me, which isn't like the scariest thing in the world, but you know, it's... It's ooh, sort of a... Am I poisoned? I'm not poisoned. Good. I hate when I'm poisoned, dude. It's so annoying. I just need you to die! Hey, guess what? Boom! Boom! Okay, that was actually kind of cool. I just blew him up. You are dead, sir. Give me that knife. Uh, is there anything else I need? I'm surprised I'm getting smacked by that thing. Didn't, you know, actually like, kill me, so. The problem is, is I'm running a really, really low on ammo. Not really, really low, but low enough for it to become worrisome. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also like these little mini games. They're called Ghost Survivor stuff. I figured because it says that like you want to beat both stories. I think in order to understand those, or else they'll like give away spoilers. Interesting. But I was thinking that we could try doing those. I know, I'm a wimp, but they are pretty hard. So, <laughs> and I was wondering if you guys wanted to, you know, ever watch me. Do that. Wow, I sound like a child. You wanna watch me do this? You wanna watch me play this, Dad? No, son. Oh, wait, 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 look at this. Copy of emails to Umbrella HQ. Director Owens, there are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach my section sheet. My, my section chief. Um, I thought I said sex shit. <laughs> Oh, we're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. The, fail the failsafe system didn't work at all. Is this the, out the work of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it could be, but why Marin and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Owens, you. It was all a... Something. That doesn't sound too good. Would you look at that? This is a way down. What do you do? do? <laughs> I'm such a five year old. Oh, great. Now we have a freaking maze to get around here. 
like the lab maze. Do you remember? Oh, uh, freaking like you remember the sky maze and like uh, Final Fantasy VII remake? That thing was awful. Well, we have something like that Tigger too. Oh, there's Ada. Ada. She looks so done. Whatever the frick that is, though, is freaking me out at least a little bit. So, you know. I... Hmm. Operation Nest Wrecker 2. What's this? Oh, please, stop. Why is this man getting shot? What, why are there gun things? Get over here, you freak. Oh, shoot. That guy just got died. Hey, little rat man. Wait, what is that thing? That guy looks like the guy we fought in, I think it was episode four. That guy looks like the guy we fought in episode four. I'll bet those rats spread it. Yeah, probably. Sewer's Company Pamphlet. Greetings from the CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we've had the honor of work on the sewers to do to work on the sewer systems of some of our country's greatest cities while never losing sight of two core principles. Playfulness and superior and superior and su superior superior industrial design. At KCC, we believe that just because our work is subterranean, that doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar, more refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and as pleasant as a pawn. Our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. We all, we may we all meet on the field someday. Knights Construction Company CEO, World Chess Alliance honorary member, Raccoon Chess Club honorary advisor, Fisher Chess Lovers Guild honorary director, R. B. Fisher. Wow, that man really likes chess when it's kind of mid. Although, chess can be kind of fire. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Um, <laughs> uh, chess can be kind of fire, depending on, you know, your, your, your uh, view on it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, anything can happen. Uh, what is this? Great, more ammo. That actually isn't horrible. I'm not going to argue with more ammo right now. It's crazy, bro. I like, what's this? Find Ada. What is this? Save Ada. Cool. What? Fitting descriptions. Oh, great. Now I got this whole dumb chess puzzle. Holy crap. I forgot about this. Unlocking the U area door. The last thing. The last. I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door to the U area during the last mad dash or transfer. I know you have to stick one plug in each terminal, but if anyone remembers which, where each, pl which each plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting the info on the board. Great. Pretty sure the rook, rook and knight are on the same wall, and the bishop and the queen aren't next to each other. The, qu the queen and rook were opposite each other, too. What is this? That's the knight. I don't exactly know what this is. So this is... I think that's the bishop. So the queen and the bishop aren't right next to each other, but the pawn's right there. So if I remember correctly, you want to move the pawn here... I believe. Dope. Okay, so, yeah, you, the pawn does go here, indeed. Dang it. Uh, does it say that the knight goes here? The knight goes there, but the knight is here, so the knight needs to go here. Okay, but like I said, this is just some dumb puzzle that I have to do. It's it's one of the better puzzles in the game, I, I think, especially with the freaking like, light transfer stuff. Remember that? Remember that one? That one was not very fun. Uh, <laughs> frick. Uh, so, wait, wait. I remember. So, you want to go to the upper one. Upper one? Do you want to go upper or do you want to go lower? Yeah, you want to go uh, middle. No, you don't want to go middle. You want to? Yeah, you want to go here. Anywho, right here is an electronic part. And I think that one is a queen. But I may be wrong. What is this? Sewers map. Let's go. We got a map of the sewers. That's pretty actually... Pretty actually. That's pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, the most annoying part of this is just having to, you know, like, go around. Uh, let's pull that one. Sick. At least it's not like the time the freaking Mr. X was chasing us. And I did not know that you'd use the stupid freaking uh, hacker thing to hack the door. 
before he got to you and touched your butt. Um, and I did die. I actually had my first two deaths in that video, but that's also because I had zero ammo. And I believe me, this is not going to be the last time there's going to be deaths, um, unfortunately for you guys. And unfortunately for me, because I freaking hate dying in this game. So, what's-her-face has the cable car, has the ID wristband. Ada, Ada has that. Delivery receipt. The item below has been delivered to the location specified in your order. Heat resistance safe, one. The combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. Now, where is this thing? I want to find this out. Want to bet it's somewhere over here? I will bet a lot of money that it's somewhere over there. Please don't actually take me my word on that, because I don't want to spend money. I already am poor enough as it is, because I don't make any money from these videos. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, it's on the side in chalk. Two, twelve, eight. Thank you, sir. What's in here? Oh! Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Ooh, son of a... Ah, I'm afraid. Oh, daddy, I'm scared. Daddy, scary zombie. Scary, scary. Oh, I thought that'd blow his head off. Apparently now. Oh, I get another, like, I, you may wonder why there's blue herbs everywhere. The reason why is because you know that weird frog monster kind of thing from earlier? And yeah, there's a lot more of those coming up ahead. And I'm going to need all of these poison, as much of these poison things as I can actually get. Oh, son of a, I did not expect you. Hello, Asian man. No, there's more zombies around here, obviously, because this game hates our guts. And, I mean, that doesn't surprise us at all, right? Don't surprise me. Man, the problem is, I feel like I need to be bitten more, because, like, I just, I don't have space for this crap, you know? Actually, I'm going to do that, just so I can have space for, like, actually, you know, healing things I'm going to need. And I'm going to need to use that. But at least I can't get poisoned while I'm down here, which is going to be kind of nice. You know, this freaking guy won't die. Never mind. Oh, oh, never mind, what's this, what's this? Ah, oh, fire. <laughs> What's this crap? Oh, nice. Another hand grenade. Let's go, bro. I will never not say no to hand grenades. I'm actually probably going to want a little bit of those later because there's going to be some bosses coming up. Yeah, that's going to be super fun. We have three more coming up, which is three more than we had, you know, last time. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, it was around here, wasn't it? Do you want to go down the lower waterway? Yeah, we do need to go here. Because that is where the T-slot handlebar thing is. Oh, joy. Another one of these things. Oh, my gosh. I totally didn't get sick and tired of you guys yet. Yay. Take the grenade. Boom. Is that thing gone yet? Oh, shoot. It's actually still alive. Ah! Put this in here right now and turn it. Sweet. We are back in business, boys. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Boom. What the? Boom. I missed. I missed. I missed. Boom. Oh, that thing is gone. Let's go, boys. <laughs> what the frick? I just sounded so southern. Oh. Oh, sweet Hail Mary. Um, dirty things. Why does, like, Leon's breath quicken literally any time I pull the trigger? Probably because he's breathing in, just so like, he can get a more stable shot. The problem is, it takes 30 years for you to get, like, a consistent, like, see how long it takes? Especially when you're, like, trying to move away from zombies. Um. Hello, sir. How are you today? Uh, please don't get up. I need more of that. 
Um, please don't get up. Great zombie grounds. You know who doesn't love those? Ah, hello, sir. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. See, you can tell with games like this for whatever strange arbitrary reason. No, I didn't mean to shove that in his mouth. Son of a gun. Oh, oh, hello, sirs. I, I don't. That guy is dead. And is never going to walk again. Boom. Oh, shoot. See? Quick time. Are there more zombies in here? How did you not die? Oh, you, I didn't even touch you yet. You need to stay down, kid. Oh, man, there, there's no way that man is never going to walk again. I forgot I still need those. Uh, frick. Um, where do we want to go? Do we want to go here? Maybe? But I think we need this way to still, you know, like, go around here. Because I feel like this way is obviously, you know, we could do that. Maybe? Aw, oh, shoot, bro. I don't know what the frick I need to do. Um... Yeah, what the crap? I what? I forgot how to do literally all of this. <laughs> um. So do you want to go down here? Maybe. I'm sorry for your loss, police man. You died by the thing we killed in the first episode. Oh, um, hello. Hey, yeah, pal, am I backing off? Dang it, I waste so many bullets on these guys. I'm running out of bullets in both of these, bro. If I don't have ammo, ugh, that is not going to be fun. Oh, there's a T-bar handle slot. That's going to help me. That's going to help. We need to go back up there and go get that. Luckily, all we have left are a freaking knife and two grenades. So, you know, there's nothing we can lose now. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, let me try this. Let me try this. Let me see if this works. Yeet. Oh, okay, that did not work. Dang it. Oh, oh, hello, 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 boom. Boom. I... I pray. Not... Oh! Dang it, bro. I have, like, no ammo left. Holy crap. Yeah, I genuinely only have eight bullets left. I'm not even lying. I, I need ammo. I do have eight mag shots, but do I have a gun to use that with? Uh, of course not. Dang it. Ah, oh, God. Um, they, uh, they put Resident Evil 3 on, um, the treatment pool room. Oh, no. Uh, they put Resident Evil 3 on PlayStation Plus. I'll, uh, I'll play that soon. You know, just kind of... Oh my gosh. You couldn't have given that me me that key but before? Wait, wait, let me check my inventory. How much space do I have for all of this? Enough space. Enough space. I'm probably gonna... I might die here. This place is actually kind of dangerous. Um, well, here's another T-bar handle slot, which I don't know what importance this has at all, but, you know, I'm just saying it's, it's here. It exists. Man, how convenient is it that these all use the exact same handlebar? Oh, and then we can just use this to get back up here. Okay, that's kind of dope. So let's just go around. I have the key... So do we want to go back up there, or do we just want to kind of want to continue here? I say go back up there and go raid those rooms. And then we can come back down here later, because we know that this is like a way that we need to go. Ah, so that's broken. Great. Oh, hello, zombie. No, 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 son of a... Get off me, hell bag. Frick, where am I? Cool, run. Please don't tell me there are scary men down here. Cause I don't wanna die. Ba -da <laughs> Do you like my little, uh, my, uh, my song? <laughs> when you give him some fruit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I remember back in fifth grade, which was like three or four years. Holy crap, that was like three years ago. 
I know that doesn't sound like too long ago, but believe me, as a 13-year-old, it does feel like a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> um, like, like, uh, like, trust me, like, it's not like just because like 13 years ago it doesn't seem like it's so long ago. It does indeed feel like it has been so much longer than that. That's because I am a child. You're welcome. Oh yes, please. I need more shotgun shells. Okay, I forgot that barely gives you literally any. Okay, what's in here? Absolutely nothing. Please tell me there's ammo. Okay, okay. Thank, thank, praise, praise. Okay, now we're back to normal Resident Evil where I'm literally freaking out because I have absolutely no ammo. So, you know, like... Resident Evil, you're not playing it for the sixth time. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm afraid. Is this what I think it is? Click that button. Uh-huh. That's what I think it is. Guys? Hmm. These rooms look sort of familiar. I wonder why. Nice. Mag bullets. But I don't have any. I really hope Tyrant isn't going to come at me. Uh, you know, the... Fucking Mr. X. That's what the game calls him. I don't know how we got the name Mr. X. That might have been like his game in, like name in the original game. Believe me, that is not his name here. That'd be so funny if I could use that. Uh, what can I? What do I use for that? I don't know what I can. Well, actually, a roll of undeveloped film. Hiding place. Okay, I want to use that. So you know, I told you we could come back to Raccoon City Police Station. So if you rewatch episode four and then come back to this, which I don't recommend doing, and watch all, I recommend watching all of them in the order. Obviously. Uh, yeah, obviously. I'm sure you can tell. We are back in the stupid underground bunker where we kill that giant man thing for the first time. And we come up here, which leads to here, which is just to say, welcome home, buddy. You're back at the Raccoon City Police Station. Which is not something I'm keen of. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. <laughs> I sound like a child when I say that. What's convenient is this thing makes it. Although that thing looks much shinier. Literally everything else. Ah, uh, Oh my gosh, there's Marvin's dead body from when I freaking sniped him. Oh, wrong button. Did you see that? That's Marvin's dead body from when, <laughs> from when he turned and so I just went boom. <laughs> That thing is gone. That man is dead. That man is dead. I, uh... Sorry, bro. <sighs> Who didn't miss being here? Leon, I'm sure you never wish you came back here. Believe me, pal. It is your home. Great, now we're going to explore Raccoon City, uh, the, for, um, we're going to explore this place again. Yay! Uh, we need to go to the dark room. Unfortunately, that means going through the way with all the liquors. Unfortunately, there's like two or three there. I, though, I think as long as we walk, there shouldn't be any problems. I hear one of those dumb raccoon, Mr. Raccoon things, but I don't have, you know, the ammo or like, the will to shoot him because I am exhausted. Yeah, there's going to be liquors, so don't don't mind them, which kind of sucks because I think they can hear me. I don't know how they can tell what is what, though. Because, I mean, they're blind, right? I feel like if I was blind, I couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to tell what the freak is going on. I'm like, what's going on? Who are you? Who am I? And what's going on? <laughs> Hiding place. What the crap? Is that in... What the frick is a hiding place? What? What? Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Is that in... God, boys, I think I know what room that's... I think I know what room that is. But, we're not gonna go through one of the ways because there's a liquor 
and that one little room up there where we exploded with the, with the freaking dynamite. Holy crap. If I saw that thing, I would be terrified for my life. Oh! Dang it. Oh, okay, that actually scared me. Run, run. Okay, that scared the crap out of me so bad. Woo! Okay, luckily that thing cannot open doors. Woo! That got me bad. I didn't expect him to hear me. I was just walking. Yes, I am a child. Yes, I can hear my heart beating. Shut up. All right, cool. Let's go to the library. Yes, we are going to the library. Uh, yes, I am five years old. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I, I am five years old. And yes, this game does still freak me out. Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I remember there being like goofy uh, secrets here in like some of these places. Like I do remember there being like little secrets that you could find if you moved some stuff around. The problem is, it says I haven't explored all this place yet, but I don't know what the frick it wants me to do. So, like, that's kind of a problem. Bro, I remember opening that when Mr. X was chasing me. Holy crap. That was still scary. And again, yes, I am five years old. Be quiet. So, I don't think we want to go through the linen room, obviously. Actually, let me make sure of something. Oh, I could've just walked up through there and gone through the shower room. Okay, well this is fine. I'm good with this either way. There's lots of blood on the walls, which is... spooky. I wonder what the scariest monster in these games is. I think my- I think the one that freaks- that has freaked me out the most and given me the most heart attacks is... most likely... the, um... Yeah, this is the same place, right? Wooden box? Okay, what is in this wooden box? Ah, here's something inside. A red dot sight. Well, darn it, I wish that gave me more information on how to unlock this, because I don't know how to unlock that in, in this, you know, Leon's story. Claire's story, bit different. I know how to unlock it there. I don't know how to unlock it here. There's still a dial lock, a dial lock in there, which I don't know how to do. The waiting room has a safe, which I don't know how to open. Cheese office has a dumb heart key, which I don't know how to get. So, you know, isn't this just wonderful? I don't know how to literally do anything in this game. We already got the west storage room, clock tower, east storage room, but we did not get this heart door, you know, because I don't have the heart key. Uh, there's a clock tower thing up there, which uh, we indeed did get. Uh, I think what we're going to want to do is we're just going to enter, go out through the lounge, go through the library, maybe explore a little bit here, see what we missed, if we missed anything. I don't know what we could have missed. And we might want to go through the waiting room and go out to the roof, because I think there's stuff out here in the roof we haven't gotten. And then here with the roof, we can just go back down here, and I'm sure there's stuff here. We can go to the observation room and interrogation room. But... First, we have to get the stuff, which is, you know, not the most fun thing in the world. How long have I been recording for? Uh, 30 minutes. Cool. Uh... Oh! Ah! I regret things! I regret this! Duh! He's right there! Oh my gosh! I hate that this music makes me feel so tense. Ooh. I see you, twisty, dirty, rotten son of a gun. Believe me, pal, I'm waiting for you, okay? I am going to shove this up your butt. Let's do this very slowly. Um. Hello, sir. Ah! 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 The problem is he's way faster than me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am sorry for acting like I am five years old. Mm. 
all the way my mom's not going to come up to me and be like, Kenji, what were you screaming in there for? And I'm like, what do you think, woman? I got chased down by this giant blind thing that's still freaky because I am, yes. I am sorry because I am indeed five years old. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I got everything up here already. It says I missed something on this floor. Mm-hmm. The frick did I miss? Luckily, Mr. X ain't here, which is kind of awesome. I swear, if I just jinx myself, I'm going to shoot something. Uh, it, it couldn't have been something here. What did I miss? <laughs> It's like it's like when you watch like three episodes ahead of like in like a like a TV show like freaking I don't know like Death Note and you're like what did I miss? Because nothing will make sense. <laughs> yes, I am sorry. I related this to anime. Um, moving on. Uh, yeah, but like, uh, yeah, this may not be the most interesting thing ever because I'm just kind of running around and you know not, you know, doing anything. But, yeah. Uh, what would be, like, a place that would have, like, secret stuff? I would think here. I'm hearing this creaking. I don't exactly know what it is. Bro, I swear, if I was Leon, I would better pray. Because I, like, I swear. Because those, if those liquor things could see, I'd be a dead man. I have, you have no idea how many times I've somehow been able to survive just because of the fact that they were blind. Okay. Like, I, like Jesus, I, I know you can heal blind people and you can make them see, but please don't make that thing see. Because if so, we are all doomed. Uh, I don't know what's going on up there. I don't know what, how to find anything over there, but I mean, maybe we'll find out later. I still got this dumb scope for the freaking lightning hawk that I, I don't know. <laughs> But what, what, to use that for, because uh, as you can clearly see, uh, I, I can't combine that with literally anything else but the Lightning Hawk. But I don't know what I need it for. These things are all problematic. Le Bro, Marvin, I'm sorry I blew your head off. You you were dying. Frick, okay, my, my frame rate just died a little. And I can still hear growing zombies. Like, these things are all terrifying, and I don't like any of it. It, it scares me. <laughs> Man, how, how five-year-old, uh, man, I am like the biggest five-year-old who would have known. Man, who could have guessed that this man, me, I am a five-year-old. No one could have guessed this. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, let's go through here. All right, it's break brain time. Uh, so, can you use this computer at all? Apparently not. You sure I can't look up stuff? Let me, let me try a random car locker combination. Seven, six, nine. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> cold drinks. Huh. Man, those cold drinks look like cactus cooler. Um, yeah, let's continue through. The horrible place where I saw the tyrant, where he met the tyrant, where he, freaking Mr. X started chasing me down, which is actually kind of freaky, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So what here could I have possibly, I swear, is this the only thing I missed? Is that is that it? I, I literally just missed this little bit of ammo, and that's it? Okay, let's go back down here. Um, So clearly I need to go to the art room. Okay, so let's just go back through here, that's not horrible. Uh, I think we're gonna go clear this place out. We're gonna go through here, we're gonna get that area, and then we're gonna go both here and here. Um, you know, for obvious reasons. Maybe see if there's something we can, maybe if we can get the heart key there, or something like that, we can freaking, you know, kill the, get in the police chief's room and get some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do that, and then we, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the episode, and like I said, we are going to spend a lot of time here, because I did want to go fully in-depth. I remember I said I wasn't going to go, you know, like, 
100% this game. And I'm not going to 100% this game either. No, totally not. But I do want to fully explore and get all the collectibles and not all the collectibles. But I do want to get, like, everything, practically. Hey, buddy. Okay, I am a small child, apparently. Because uh, this is scaring me. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's go. I have the, I do not have the shamrock key. Gosh darn it. Okay. The one time that I actually need that thing, I don't have it. Great. So now we have to go back. Uh, hey buddy. Okay. So now I know what I need to go there for. So great. Now we can walk all the way back up these stairs and have to go back there so I can save and also so I can grab the shamrock key. And so I'm going to wrap up this episode. Uh, sorry, I thought we were going to do more, but clearly not. But I think next episode we'll just 100% Raccoon Police Station. Uh, and then we'll go back down to the little rab lab area. Uh, ra sewer, rat lab area. I don't know what the freak that- what is that called? Underground facility, that's what it's called. We're going to go back there, and we're going to get all that stuff done. Which is going to be kind of sweet, I'm not going to lie. And then we'll have another episode of the lab, and we'll have one final episode probably after that, or we can finish up all of that. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, so we got that all done, and then we're going to save. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank all you guys so much for you know watching the episode. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you you know didn't actually enjoy. Uh, you know, tune in for more Resident Evil 2 if this is your jam and you like this series. Uh, we have Resident Evil 4 up, so, you know, other part of the series that you're going to like, probably. Um, I have other series up, obviously, so, you know, go check those out, too, if you still want more. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Have a good day, nerds.